Hey, it's Pete and Roxy here, and um, this is a diary entry for October. We have been going out and seeing the stars every single night to connect to source, the stars, the universe, and see if we can see any flying objects, of course. And we have, so the other night we had like 20, and we were like, oh my God, there's so many, um, like different, like they're not all just satellites, they're different like levels of, you know, in the sky, they're different levels, or one might be flashing, one might be going super fast. So there's certainly activity in the sky at the moment. Um, I've been setting an intention to have a profound experience in the galactic space um, daily because I want to see if this is real. Like, you know, your mind gets away with you. I meditate, I'm talking to galactic beings, um, ones that are soul family and ones that I've had past extraterrestrial lifetimes with. Um, but it's really hard for me as a human, in a human body to... Um, confirm that this is real like we always need to see the hard evidence don't we so i've got a little a glimpse of that in my headspace so i wanted to have um some proof so i've asked for some profound experiences daily and yesterday we had some um for the first time we were out spotting um satellites stars moving objects in the sky and we saw one two and a third um falling star, shooting star across the sky right in front of us. I mean, we can only see a, a little bit of the sky where we are because of the hills and the trees. And we, we position ourselves in our, um, in our garden on our driveway where we can see the most stars. And the three shooting stars were within what, like five to 10 minutes of each other. And they were right in front of us. And um, like, we just knew that it was a communication from a higher source. It's because there's this um, trying to work out whether the information is, you know, is it other dimensions? Is it uh, light beings? Is it extraterrestrials? It's trying to work out like what exactly it is that we're, de we're dealing with when, you know, like I, I still I have the dreams and we get the the coding and the, a lot of the blue light. And I've had the readings talking about, you know, it's like this Palladian, uh, I'm from the Palladies, there's Palladian in me. When I was in the Hiawaska, I sort of saw myself come down as a, a blue spark of the divine from via the Palladies. And for me, it's whenever I have dreams of this nature, it's always blue and there's lots of blue. But then there are other times where there's beings and they're golden and they come and I'm trying to work out the difference between extraterrestrials and light beings that are from other dimensions. And when you understand the way time is layered and you start to understand that there are different dimensions and there's so much out there outside of the little red to violet that we pick up through our eye. So much energy swirling around us at any one time. And I mean, occasionally, if you raise your vibration and you get really clear and pure, you might be able to see an aura or an energy field or see a few orbs or a little bit of color. But guys, I think we're getting like a crack through the curtain of what's really going on around us. And I think I think we just pick up on such a small fraction of what's going on. So guys, we're learning to sort of process through this. I love the physical seeing with my eye of uh, a light going through the, the sky at a certain angle and then stopping it like going straight up or something that defies logical explanation. I mean, no satellite's doing that. And it makes you sit there and question, what is that? You've got a large, bright light in the sky and then you see a small little bright light go out of it and then just disappear off and you think so where'd it go what the heck like what is that there's no explanation for that you search and you look i mean that out of satellite ejecting some cargo i mean what's <laughs> going on there i don't know but uh, i'm loving checking all of this information out and we're certainly super excited when we yeah talking. i have so much excitement um you know now that we've elevated the excitement in the galactic space is really fun and enjoyable like we, we can't wait to get outside and look at the stars every night and the kids know what we're doing they come out and they're like how many you spotted so far and it's like a family thing that connection and um you know in my meditations i'm finding that i'm having um extraterrestrial beings coming to me 
um, talking to me, giving me upgrades, activating, you know, throat chakras, um, light codes within me, um, everything coming and I'm just becoming more expanded in my awareness. And, you know, I'm, and sometimes I'm being taken up on um, craft and getting told um, what to do in the craft, how to get up to the craft. And I'll share this with you. There's always... Um, uh, a, a craft that I go up to and as soon as I get into it I turn right and it's circular and there's um, all body um, kind of holes in the walls chambers sorry. chambers yeah, yeah that you, that I go in and I sit and it's like kind of like a ride in in a sense I think I went on a ride like this when I was at a show once when I was a little girl but um, and it spins around right so you're back in it but so that is the same as when they travel through dimensions and space time. So the body is kept safe um, while the consciousness is moving around interdimensionally. So I've been shown that where we would sit and um, even to the, the description of uh, where Pete were, and the kids would go as well. And then, you know, it just sounds so crazy. You think I come out and I tell Pete after my meditation what happened and this and that and and then, you know, we're constantly getting, well, every couple of months I get a reading from Daniel Scranton and tap into the Archangels. And um, look, I have so many questions and, and this is the main thing that I love to ask questions about because it's so exciting to me and just having that confirmation without telling him what happened, but just having the confirmation of um, the other night, you know, these... Um, lights went across the house. What were they? And, you know, the, conf the Archangel Michael confirming that they were, um, our extraterrestrial family, soul family checking in on us, checking our temperature, checking that we're ready to go in a sense, ready for disclosure, ready for initiation. And, you know, that, that really excites me. And then I ask about, you know, there's a spacecraft and I go up and, blah, blah, blah. and before I even finish the question, it's, that, you know, Archangels Michael's replying going, yes, it's preparing you for travel in a spacecraft. And then I said, so what, am I going to go on a spacecraft in this lifetime? And, um, and it's like really certain, yes, you are in the very new, near future. Um, so I don't know, like we're just doing these diary entries to show the progression on our evolution of consciousness. Um, working on our bodies and um, clearing that density is really the number one goal. Then connecting to source and being connected to the universe. And then you can, um, you know, expand your awareness and have higher learning of planet Earth, of the universe, all the planets around us and what they mean and how we all work in conjunction with each other and how the energy spread around us is you know, it's a, it's a symphony. It's, it's to be working together so we can, you know, nurture and, um, share the energy sources around our universe. And then outside of this universe, are there planets? Are there other species? Is there life on other planets, other galaxies? Yes, of course there is. So it's such an exciting journey to unfold and learn all these truths of the universe. So we want to keep this, you know, these diary entries going of what our findings are. We're just regular people in Australia, you know, with kids and we just awoke and this is what's happening. So got anything to add, babe? No, we'll, we'll keep you updated uh, on what comes through in the near future. Bye guys.